Happy Halloween. Hello and welcome back to Enlightened Joy. And this is the week of the 29th of October to the 4th of November 2018. Please like and subscribe. Be sure to put a comment below to let me know which card resonates with you, whether it's one, two or three. We'd love to hear from you. Let's go. Wow. Card one, enthusiasm, passion and honour. What a magnificent set of cards. It is exciting this week. There's a lot of excitement going on because we've got Halloween. We've got the end of the month. There's a lot of great things coming up, depending on where you are in the world. Could be horse racing, could be all sorts of things. There's lots of amazing things coming up of the world. We've got mega shopping days this November. So there's lots of things we're leading into on the on the march to Christmas. But this week's going to be amazing. So you're enthusiastic, you're passionate and If you honour yourself and honour your true feelings, really feel that you're going to be on top of things because you're true to yourself this week. And it's very important because if you're not true to yourself, no matter how enthusiastic you are, your enthusiasm wanes if your passion is not there. So if you're um, focusing on a new business project or business venture, or if you're perhaps applying for a new job, your excitement and enthusiasm really need to be at their peak so that you can wow the people that you're interviewing or wow the new client or even just to pursue your dream. It gets hard when you know things take time to develop and grow when you're starting a new business and so it's important to keep that enthusiasm and and that passion growing and continuing but honoring yourself looking after yourself honoring yourself can be keeping your routines up your morning routine your evening routine making sure you're getting the right sleep eating the right foods doing exercise and making time for your family, making time for your pets, just making time for your friends as well. Just make sure that you're, you've got a balanced life too. And that's honoring yourself with your, because you can be so enthusiastic and so excited with everything that's happening and that you've got going on that you can sort of snowball people a little bit and they can be a bit taken back if they're not, if they're not really in your inner circle, you know, and they don't understand your your passion. So be mindful of those around you and share your enthusiasm because of course it is contagious and your passion, but you might find that if you're not with your people in your tribe, others may not appreciate what you're going on about and what you're talking about. But you know that you're honouring yourself by organising everything, getting your life organised because you are enthusiastic and passionate about your adventures, your goals, your dreams, your hopes. And this will be the way that you will win. This will be the way that you live your best life. Hard two, giving generosity, teething and joy. Oh, this is fantastic. So with your generous nature and your generous spirit, your candy giving, be kind, don't give too too much candy, perhaps give some fruit (laughs) this Halloween. Be mindful of those around you with your giving and your generosity. It's such a wonderful time that we live in that we have at our fingertips the internet so that we can give and we can be generous at a moment's notice. You can look up a website of your favourite charity or of anything in around the world and find a way to give to them. You can give to people on YouTube with Patreon and things like that. There's all methods of giving and being generous and having a generous heart is a really wonderful thing. It'll bring you joy and really help you lift yourself up to a higher level. Giving is is such a wonderful thing to do. And you know what? Anonymous giving is wonderful, even better, because then then it's just nice to see how people react without them realizing it's you. And it's wonderful to see how people react when they get some, get a gift or if they receive something that they really needed. It's just lovely to see people's reactions. And I love that. I love being generous like that. I can understand that you may also love that kind of giving and joy. You may have heard of paying yourself first when people talk about being self-employed and receiving an income and paying yourself first. Uh, you're teething five or 10% of your income. It's a matter of putting some funds aside before paying anything else out. You might do this by go to church they might go to some other place where they they give a portion of their income to a particular charity or or a, a sponsor child or something like that where they every month or every week or every <laughs> every fortnight giving some funds to another for another purpose you could be helping a hospital you could be helping a church you could be helping sponsor a child in your neighborhood you could be sponsoring a, a local team i mean these are all ways that we can be generous and give of our time generous of our spirit and teething of your income but also remember when you're doing these things it's got to be within your means card three wealth abundance prosperity and the inspiration card is hope (laughs) 
<laughs> well, this might be a lottery ticket. There might be a large Halloween draw or you might go into a competition and, and win best costume. And there, there could be a cash prize or an abundance of you. Maybe you get a fruit basket. You'll feel abundant and prosperous this week just because of the nature of the week. The last few cards we've looked at are about enthusiasm, passion and generosity and giving and joy. And now we've moved on to wealth, abundance, prosperity. All three cards this week are fantastic. The abundance and wealth speak for themselves. There's a, an abundance of goodwill in the air. The anticipation and the excitement uh, for Halloween might be it. Perhaps you're going to a party or you've you've got some other, some other event this week and it's you're excited about it. You've got an abundance of energy this week and you're perhaps you've put some funds aside or you, you're going to go out and you're feeling prosperous and the hope is that it's going to be a fantastic week and you feel great. You're wealthy. You have a wealth of friends around you. You have an abundance of spirit and you feel prosperous because of all the wonderful things around you. And, and honestly, with the hope card, it's just great. You've got everything going for you this week. Go out there with the best of intentions and the best of thoughts and know that you're going to be taken care of this week and you will. Have a fantastic week. This is an amazing set of cards and I, I truly hope that you enjoy everything that happens this week. Thank you so much for watching Enlightened Joy's weekly reading of the 29th of October to the 4th of November 2018. It's been very exciting and I really hope you enjoy your reading. Don't forget again to subscribe and like the video. Don't forget to leave that comment below. Have a wonderful week. Happy Halloween!